Alrighty. What a morning. Hi, everybody. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Runastar. Hi, Laka. Good morning, good morning. Had a, I was trying to get everything set up. I'm running a little little behind. I stayed a little bit long at the gym this morning, so I uh, I got home and I was like, oh, God, I got to get everything done. Elcor, good morning. How are you? Hmm. So, yeah, it's been kind of a crazy morning, but welcome back, everybody. Let's get, every, let's get everything straightened out. See, I even had my hat on crooked. There we go. Hi to the YouTube side. Hi to the Twitch side. I hope you're all having a great, great day. Hope things are going well for you. And life is going well as well. Wow, what a, what a morning. I went out and drove this morning, then I hit the gym, and I got, I got, in, I got into it at the gym, and so I was like, going 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 and then i was like oh crap it's time i need to get going <laughs> i'm going 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 and then it's like oh crap it's time to go it's time to go well that's cool Look at all the new sponsorship things they're giving us. Hey, Miss Honeypot. Hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody. All right. Well, today, we, you're just swinging by to say hi. Well, hi and goodbye. Have a good one. Today, we're going to be getting back into our mapping run. And we're going to be doing zone of contamination on the last zone that we need to map. And we're going to also be uh, doing the Buried Echoes quest while we're here. So we're going to be taking care of... We're going to be sort of double duty in it. Double duty... Lots of duty going on. All right, we do have some coal here. How much How much fuel do I have on me right now? I got six pieces of coal. You know what? I can probably drop a little bit of the... of those here. For a couple more pieces of coal. There we go. Get our bow out. How are my guns doing? Oh, they're, they're a little they're a little sore. My my whole body's sore right now. I'm still not quite used to the whole working out thing, so my whole body's sore. But it's a good it's a good you know, it's a good kind of sore. It's the sore that makes you go, hey, I'm alive. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in Zone of Contamination, so this should be interesting. Have we even started mapping here? Oh yeah, so we did map a little bit right there. We just mapped as we came in, so that's okay. Hey, take it a hello, hello. How are you? We'll head up this way. There's a couple ways we can go here to get up top. I actually drove a gal this morning to the airport that was going to go to Texas just to see the eclipse. And I was like, well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's kind of neat. So yes, today is Zone of Contamination and a little bit of mapping in it. A little bit of, we'll try to do some Buried Echoes if we can. To find some place to the funny thing is, the final thing for Buried Echoes is right here. Enduring Waterfall, huh? Hey, look at that. It's enduring. Half my, half my office took off today to travel to see the eclipse. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Did you not get to go, Chris? Just enjoyed the thin ice. Thick ice parkour, parkours and forlorn muskeg. Now, we could go up that way, but I think we're going to go this way instead. 
No, wait a second. Is it this way or is it up here? Like two paths you can go here. Okay, yeah, this is the way. This will take us up to the top of the mine. We'll be able to actually see the top of the mine here. I didn't think about it in time to request it off. Oh, Mr. Wolfies! Should be a good little mapping spot here. A little bit more map there. There we go. Yeah, Forlorn Muskeg, it, it's a it's a nerve-wracking place, especially if you get into Forlorn Muskeg and there's a fog storm. It can be a little bit harrowing. I was lucky to witness a total eclipse in my hometown in 1999. Uh, yes, we we completed Signal Void. We we got our we got our our little our little uh our little ninja cap for it. There should be a trailer right over here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think there's one right ahead of us here. There's actually a ravaged wolf corpse here. Interesting. Might as well get a fire started just to get warmed up. Yeah, I've seen a couple. To I've, ske I've seen a couple eclipses, but uh, um. Uh, didn't see, didn't see the most recent one that was here in Oregon. Mmm, yum. The wolves are so hungry they eat each other? Yeah. Indeed they are, Mrs. Honeypot. Indeed they are. Slowing me down. Oh, he dropped some more crow feathers. Nice. I'll take the extra feathers. Do I have much water? Yeah, I'm fine. There we go. Yummy, yummy wolf meat. Yum, yum. Which chat is not on screen? Oh, that's interesting. There. Oh, there we go. I turned it off yesterday because it was covering up stuff on the uh, on the stream. There it is. There we go. Thank you for the thank you for the thank thank you for the reminder there. I forgot to turn it back on after I got done streaming. All right, we're almost warmed up by the fire here. Do I have any teas to cook up? No. Do I have any teas to make? Yes, I do. Let's make that. And do the mushroom one as well. There we go.
You know, the new game was pretty fun. I mean, it's pretty much like... It's pretty much along the line of like a Stranded Deep, Escape the Pacific type game. So there wasn't really anything like... Like super innovative that I saw about it, but it was it was fun. It, it was it was really the graphics were really nice and it looks really good. So I don't know long term if it's going to be a really great game or not, but it looked really cool. Actually, you know what I should do? I'm here by a fire. I should just map up real quick. Map it. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's very similar to, like, those. I mean, you know. Which, honestly, you know, with survival-style games, there's always, only so much you can do. music. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Lookie, there's the mine. Woo, boy. Pretty spiffy looking. There's a piece of cedar there. And some chemical boots. Which I don't know if I'll use or not. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Candy bar. Astrometica, which is a subnautica clone in space, better said, in an asteroid belt. Yeah, we are getting a pretty good look at the map. Pork and beans, accelerant. Yeah, the Polaroids are kind of crappy in this zone. They really, truly really are. I thought I saw something blue there for a second. I was like, is that a match? Is Are those matches there? Nope. Hmm. Do I want to rest here? Or do I want to keep going? I say we keep going. Trying to avoid the poison area if I can, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Yeah, I'm not going to the quarry quite yet. We'll we'll get we'll get down in there eventually. I might go the second. Let's see, where's the other? Yeah, there's that truck there. Not sure if you can mount and go down that or not. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, it looks looks like you might be able to, but it looks like there's some outcroppings that would be a little bit dangerous too.
It looks more goatable here. Maybe. can't look. Okay. Hey, look, there's a Polaroid. There's a Polaroid. You were right. 100% correct. You get the kudo points for the day. There we go. We gave you we gave you the points for the day. Was I really getting chemical poisoning? I really was. That's weird. Let's go. I mean, that's a mine entrance over there. Unfortunately, that truck is right in the middle of all the chemical gas. Here I said I wasn't going into the mine, and what am I doing? I'm going into the mine. No, we're not going to go down there yet. We're not going down there yet. I said I wasn't going into the mine quite yet. God dang it. Dang it, stop being distracted by bright, shiny objects, Athenon. But they're so bright and shiny. They make me happy. Like, bright, shiny objects are meant to be, like, looked at and adored. There's a wolf over there. It's luring you, yeah. Like, Gollum in the ring. It's like, it just pulls me in. It's like, it's, I'm your precious. the tier one sub for two months appreciate that very much all right there he is right there come on come on yeah you ain't got no meat on you anyway sucker crappy wolf with no meat on you If there's anything in there, there's nothing in there. Woo! I, nope, I'm doing buried echoes. That's what that's that's we're doing mapping and buried echoes now. All right. Oh, that was nice. That was very very nice. I like that. I like that. See, so, yep, mapping and buried echoes is what we're about today. And we got a whole lot to explore in here. Oh my god. This place is humongous. It's the concentrator. Maybe it'll map the concentrator for us now. Yep, there we go. There's the concentrator. I 
How cool would it be if the if the beast would fire up during an aurora and you could drive around it? Oh, that'd be so awesome. That would be so awesome. You could just like run you could just run the wolves over. Be like, wolves? Where I'm going, I don't need any wolves. Oh, that's Rhodes. Wait a second. Wrong, wrong franchise. Not gonna find a lot of stuff in here. That's sort of how it goes. Maybe I'll find a gas mask and a. Oh, I found a piece of lead. Yay. Huzzah. I guess. A lead battery. Uh, okay. Here, I'll leave the piece of lead by the lead. By the battery. There we go, those two go together. I'm too tired to think straight. I know. At least we're warm. I guess we could sleep in the truck. I wonder if there's anything under these crates. We might have to do a little investigation. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't. I, unfortunately, I don't have my. I, I have oil. I have an oil lamp, but it's empty at the moment. So I'm gonna have to go with torches or something. Because right now, I'm I'm a little I'm a little on the low side. Okay, so can I? I can't do anything with the chemical boots. Okay, I, so I can't. I can't. I can't fix them. I can't do anything with them other than just basically. I can't even rip rip them apart for anything. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, I forgot to give out points for Sugar Slam's uh, subscription for two months. There you go. We got it. Thank you again, Sugar Slam, for that two month sub there. I do appreciate that very, very much. It's very kind of you to do. All right, let's go ahead and get like, uh, let's get some sleeps. Let's get some sleepity boos. All right. We got a couple. We got a couple things we can chow on. Got a got a couple. Got a couple uh, cans Feels of food. Like gear. Shh. Shh. Will it's gonna be okie dokie. It's gonna be everything's gonna be all right. Will just trust me on this one. Never found the spelunker's lantern in your runs. Uh, usually the spelunker's lantern is inside like one of the. One of the mines. You have to kind of go in. A, a, bu a bunch of the transition mines will sometimes have it in it, or it'll be in like an outdoor cave. Um, there's several different spots that it kind of spawns in, and if you keep your eyes peeled for it, you'll you'll see it. You'll see it eventually. But hey, glove box. You can have a pair of of chemical boots for whatever. That's two kilos. Those chemical boots weigh two freaking kilos. No wonder I hate those things. Good lord. That's a lot that's a lot of weight to be carrying around. We'll have lots of time to explore this place. Probably pretty dark in here right now too. Yeah. Let's go explore the outdoor areas first. And then we have to head over. We actually have to head right now we're like up in here. We have to head down over here for the beginning part of zone of contamination. Look 
looks like a new day is dawning. It does look like a new day is dawning. Isn't that great? Huzzah! Some pills. I'll take them. I won't keep them, but I'll take them. An another battery. Well, they just love giving you batteries in this zone, don't they? It's like they're like, let's give them lots of batteries. Gonna, I'm just gonna dump those pills in here. Bye bye. Oops, there they go. Whoopsie! They just disappeared. They're gone like a fart in the wind. Have I been contaminated yet? No, I have not been contaminated. I mean, I got a little bit of contamination, but I got rid of it. This much gear. Soda. I have not been bitten by a contaminated wolf. No, I have not. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I don't need it now. Nope, no contaminated, no contaminated wolves have got their little bitty paws on me. I mean, there was one wolf that tried attacking me, but I clapped back and smacked him down hard. Is that a wolf over there? Is that a D? That's a wolf over there. Okay. That wolf messed with the wrong ombre. Saw me from so far away. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Their, their range, their range is huge. The, the the smell range they have is huge. Probably because they're so damn hungry. I mean that's like twice the range of a usual wolf. Close that door, thank you. Now this is a great little base out here. It does count as indoors. I found that out the hard way. It does count as indoors. So you can get cabin fever inside of here, which is not fun. Okay, I'm gonna break down these boxes real quick. I'm just gonna get rid of them all. This is, this is where we're gonna sort of store our stuff for this for this area. There's a workbench right by here. Just gonna clear the floor real quick. All right. That's a good place to like leave fuel. Do all sorts of good stuff here. Uh, we could leave some cloth here. All right, so let's leave a little bit of cloth here. There we go. Leave that scrap metal here. Okay, I got some arrow shafts and arrowheads, so I can make some arrows up real quick. Break that down. All right, let's drop the drop the fur and a couple of the cedar reclaimed wood oops that didn't work so well I can drop all, I can dump all these tinder plugs in here because I don't need those at all I have another piece of clothing. Oh, I have that. I have that extra hat, don't I? God, I've got an extra wool toque, which actually I don't even need anymore. 
Oh, oh, that hurts. Tearing up a wool toque is never easy. It always makes you cringe just a little bit. It's like, oh! I got those extra cans. So I've got two pry bars. I can probably leave... I'm going to leave that in there. I'll take one with me. Alrighty, there we go. We're down to 48. Um, let's see, what do those have in them? That's got my coffee. That's got my rose hips. That's got my birch bark. Those are the only thermoses I have with me. Yeah, those are the only ones I brought with me. So, that's quite alright. Let's go ahead. Um, let's put eight of those in there. Put all my crow feathers in there. My old bat man beard. Put that in there too. Let's grab out six crow feathers. So we can trundle right out here. There's this nice little workbench here. Well, we can make a couple simple arrows real quick. That'll bring us back up to full on our arrows. <laughs> Lots of spray paint. To give you lots of spray paint in this zone. Okay, so we got all that stuff there. By the way, during an aurora, you have to be careful. Some of these, some of these hangy downs are, are live wires that can do nasty stuff to you. Like, why does it let you come up here? Are, am I supposed to break these crates down? Maybe I'm supposed to break the crates down. Maybe there's supposed to be something inside them. I don't know. You might have to try that and see. Big tall tool kit. Hey, Ari, how you doing? Well, we are officially in the zone of contamination now. And we're just kind of like bumbling around seeing what we can do here. We actually got to the... Uh, we actually got to the... Uh, uh, whatever this place is that can... The... Cut... The concentrator, I think they call it. Yeah, the concentrator. So we're now concentrating. Very, very, very concentrating. And now we're just kind of searching this place up, seeing what's there. Someone stash. Someone stash. Yeah, someone stash. We got our little base going on there. So we got a little base that we're setting up there. And there's lots of stuff to explore here. So we're just doing a little exploring. We found the miner's pants, the which... Can you, can you even repair the miner's pants? Oh, you can't actually repair those. You can't repair the boots, so I just left those behind. I was like, what do I need the boots for? What do I need the pants for, honestly? Well, it's not going too bad yet. We've we've mapped. We've we we came in here and we just came straight up to here. We got to go down this way to get the uh, to start the uh, uh, the buried echoes quest because that's where that that's where that kind of kicks off is down there. There's the other Polaroid. So now we got both Polaroids, which they're both crappy Polaroids too. They don't the Polaroids in this zone are garbage. The Polaroids in this zone are almost as bad as the ones in in uh, Black Rock. Where they give you like a little tiny, they give you a little tiny area that you get to see, and that's it. 
Like, oh, pants are for amateurs. Yeah, that's that's true. We go, we go, we go pantsless. Pants are for chumps. I want to dance with no pants on. Holla! That's a piece of coal. Oh, wow. Three food items. What? Just sitting out there, just enjoying its time. A vest and a pair of boxers. Real men take the cold. Go to pants like no one's watching. Lots of wires and books and stuff here. I'm leaving that. I'm leaving the spray paint cans. I mean, I know they're just trying to help out with the mines down there, but now nah, I'm good. This gear is starting to slow me down. But now nah, I'm good. I just stepped outside and the ominous music started. Stop the madness. Ding, 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 ding. The game's like, you shall not go outside. The more dangerous zones, the better the music, yes. Put those in there. It's getting freaky in here. I'm hoping I find oil somewhere. It'd be super nice if I did. Do I need the Travoy on me right now? I don't know if I need it on me or not. I am going to need a new bow here pretty soon. I don't have a backup bow on me. That makes me kind of sad, actually. Probably should have got that back when I was in uh, in uh, Forsaken Airfield. We might have to pop back to Forsaken Airfield just to get a bow eventually. All right, we got our stuff down a little bit. Is that music ominous? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, there's a blue flare here. Hello. All right, let's go. See if there's anything in the pipes. You never know. Sometimes there's stuff in pipes. You never can tell. Is it really that late in the day? Oh, it is, it is getting a little late in the day. I like this vantage point to do a little map in here. Oh wow, they got a I got a lot of they got a bunch of stuff for us. Nice. Just 
got to bake a rhubarb crumble. Yum, yum. Yummy. Yes, please. I'll take a little bit. You can just send it in the mail. You'll post it on Discord? Nice. Goodbye, Ms. Honeypot. Have a great rest of your day. The wolf way over there. Getting out of it as fast as I can. It's giving me chemical poisoning. Which is not a good thing. You don't want you don't want the chemical poisoning. Avoid chemical uh, avoid chemical hazards or equip a respirator to reduce its uh it reduce its uh, bad stuff. Gonna quickly go through it. Well, as quickly as we can. They're like, you're in our yellow fog. We're just facing down nasty little wolfy boys. The nasty, nasty boys. You've not missed anything yet. We just got we got into zone of contamination. We've doing doing a little bit of mapping in here right now. And that's about it. I think there's some sort of cave or something up here that we can go into. But I'm not 100% sure. Another flare. Oh, yeah, it's this cave. Which is still cold inside. Forgotten exploration. Well, it ain't so forgotten anymore, is it now? It's actually kind of warm in here. Let's just poke our head out the other side and see what's there. Remember, I've only been to the zone, like, a couple of times, so I'm not super, like, familiar with everything in it. Looks like that's a campfire right there. And there's some lockers here, too.
There's some ketchup chips and a can of tomato soup. I don't like that. It's a tunnel. Yeah, it's a tunnel, not a cave. Exactly. Ah. I cinched my shorts up for my workout, and, and now I'm sitting down, I'm like, ooh, those are tight. <laughs> There's a piece of wood. Anything in the frozen water here? Other than toasties, I see nothing in the frozen water. Boo. Yeah, our boots are taking a lot of damage from that chemical stuff. Well, we are almost completely exhausted, so I think we'll just we'll just chill out down here by the fire, by the fire pit. Actually, I could start a fire here. Probably not a bad. That's probably not the worst idea I've ever had. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do a, to a flare on it. And then I almost started it with the, uh, almost started it with the, uh, with the fire striker. That would have been really genius. All right. I, I do need some water. Yep. We do need to eat a little bit of food, so let's eat down the dog food. We got dog food, we got sardines, we got some murder fish, and we still have 89 cattails, so we still have a crap ton of cattails that we can eat too. Those will go pretty quick. We'll probably eat up all those cattails in this zone. Wow, that, that flare goes out so quick. So quick. All right, well, that took a bunch of stuff off of us. Okay, let's go dump this flare in here. Bye-bye, flare. Bye-bye, cans. Sleep for an hour, that'll let our water get going. Holy schmackerolies! That was about 10 to 11 days using the starving technique. Starving technique is good. I don't really find I need to use it though much anymore. I usually have a pretty good, pretty good supply of food going on. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Nah, you're good, buddy. You don't need to drop a thing. You're beautiful just the way you are. Let's see, do we need to prepare up anything? Prepare up one more mushroom tea. There we go. Ooh, excuse me. All right. Uh, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get our sleep for the night. I was gonna say, hopefully it doesn't get. Oh, and there we 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 cured ourselves of the of the nasties. Okay, so we got nine charcoal now. Yeah, vitamin C, vitamin C is not going to be a problem in this zone because we've eaten a ton of canned foods and other things. I have a lot of vitamin C. Is it really daytime out? It's daytime already. Nice. Let's go. Time to move. It's time to move it, move it. I'll get out to the other side here and map real quick. I'm still, I'm still trying to get my head wrapped around where we are even on the map. Because it's like we're up here, I think. I think we're coming around that side or something. That looks like coal there. That's kind of nice. Dead body over here, too. Try to avoid the water if I can. A couple pieces of coal by the body. Someone stashed. Oh, no. I guess not. All right, so that's where we came out. Oh, goodness. I need it through another night. They put a, de they put a deer right in the middle of the contaminated area. Lots of contaminated cattails. That's always good news. Nothing, nothing better than a contaminated cattail or two. Yum, yum. Hey, Farmer Mars. Good morning, my friend. get up there probably can from the other side I would I would be guessing no nope, but I don't think there's a way I don't think there's a way to get up there maybe oh I bet I bet there's a way all the way around and back all right oh hold on hold up hold up wait a minute Maglens? Yeah, let's go! Maglens fire time! And then we'll get a little meat here, too. We'll get a little meat, get a hide, get a couple guts. It'll all be good. Not anymore. I remember remember the days when you had to wait 20 game minutes before you could put coal on the fire so you'd be sitting there freezing your britches off waiting for the coal waiting for the fire to be be burning long enough to have the coal put on it that was a pain in the butt How is weather in this compared to others? In this zone, the weather's not too bad usually. The weather's pretty good in this zone. I mean, I, I haven't I haven't had horrible weather yet. Oh my gosh! Then we got electrostatic fog. Fabulous! Just just as I say that, I jinxed myself. Just as I said that, I jinxed myself right there.
speak and you shall be cursed. Hey, at least we've got a signal. Oh, I dropped my pie the other yeah, when I was back there. Gosh dang it. I'm just gra I'm just gonna grab some torches out of it. A little rest by it. Unfortunately, the the fog's just gonna last all day now. That's the thing about the electrostatic fog that kind of sucks, is that it's now an all day event. So. Hey, Dave, doing good, my friend. Doing good. All right, we're 57 kilos. Feed down a little of that. Drink a little water. Well, this should be fun. This should be enjoyable. We're walking, we're walking in, we're walking in heavy, boys and girls. Oh, yeah. Can glimmer fog turn into a blizzard? No, it does not. That's the one that's the one good thing about the glimmer fog. That's the one good thing about the glimmer fog. Uh the device I'm holding is the receiver. And with that we're gonna find the first uh part of the buried echoes quest that we need. I think I have to go up and around here to get to the, the bridge that we need to cross over. I know we're close. Let me get my bow out just in case. There's some birch up here I'm going to grab real quick. But yes, the receiver's part is, is an item that you get, uh, uh, Tej Mahal. Uh, you get the receiver in Forsaken Airfield. And it unlocks two quests. It unlocks the it unlocks the uh, signal void quest, which we've already completed, and it also unlocks the buried echoes quest, which we're just doing right now. And we're doing that here in zone of contamination. And this is only about the third, I think, third time I've been in this zone. Although we did spend a lot of time in the zone, so. We did get very familiar with it the last time we were in it. Oh, God. No. No. Stop it. The, 
the yeah the receiver is a, is a quest specific item and it actually has two channels it has the the channel there that's for bunkers and then it has that channel that'll find actual buried buried things in the game It's only survival. It's only in the survival mode. It's not. It's not. In, it's not in the uh, story mode now. It is specifically a survival item, and it's. It's only if you own. If it's only if you own Tales from the Far Territory. You have to have the. You have to have the expansion, or the DLC. Oh, they've added a lot of stuff to the game. All right, a chemical a chemical poisoning risk is gone. Okay, we're getting close. Yep, I think we're almost there. Let's go. Like right over by that house, I'm pretty sure. Because right now we're doing this first part. Use the handheld shortwave to locate any signs of life. Oh yeah, well, and and they, you know, Dave, they this is their first DLC, and it hasn't been released as fast as I think some people wanted it to be released. But it's their first go at it. They're still learning, they're still figuring it out, and you know, they they are fulfilling everything that they promised, just not in the time frame that they promised. And personally, I kind of thought their time frame that they gave us was a little. I thought the time frame they gave us was a little uh ambitious let's say it was very ambitious there's the burdock we'll get the burdock root out So we found this note. The mine, this mine is a graveyard. Maybe my own too, if I'm not careful. The wolves here are unwell. All this pollution in the ground, awful. Whatever happened, he goes beyond the stories Poppy uh, told me about Langston Core and the bad old days of uranium extraction. I don't even know how to say it. There is a deeper darkness, some other mystery buried in those tunnels. I couldn't access the lowest levels without suffocating, but there seems to be a clear path to try down there. I just need some way to manage the toxic vapor seeping out of the ground. There's also the bizarre area locked away inside the entrance of off the upper tracks behind the derelict concentrator facility. And there's that downed helicopter in the hills above the old water extraction ponds I need to check out. Might be some tools to scavenge there or in the concentrator and head frame building. For now, a moment to rest. Well, their moment to rest, they died. <laughs> We got to get in and out of the cold. That's what we got to do. Get ourselves a bun bun. We'll go across the river. There's a cave over here, if I remember correctly. If I remember right, there's a cave over here we can just chill out in for a day. Get a little fire going, get some bunny rabbit cooked up. Get some rabbit. Oh, I could actually, I'm actually, I think I'll make some rabbit, uh, 
I'll use part of the rabbit to make some rabbit pies so that I'll have that extra carry weight. Because the rabbit pies give you three extra carry weight, so that'll be very useful since we're a little bit, a little bit over. Just a, just a teensy bit over. Not by much. One of the better caves they put in here. Hello, cave. Hello, deer. Unfortunately, we are getting the, uh, the insomnia risk. We almost have full-blown insomnia now. Which, not much we can do about it. The eclipse has begun in Mexico. Nice. I'm exhausted, but I just can't fall asleep. I'm exhausted, but I can't fall asleep. Well, let me tell you, buddy. Yeah, I actually drove a gal, wait and see. I drove a gal to the airport today who was flying down to Texas to see the, just to see it. going all that way just to see just to see the eclipse which I thought well that's kind of cool <laughs> there's a hyperthermia healed let's get down our put our pan down we'll also we'll also uh put the pot down here oops we'll put the pot down there let's go ahead and Cook up some rabbit pies. And then let's get a... Actually, I'm going to hold off on that until those rabbit pies are done. I want to make sure I have enough rabbit. Because sometimes it'll... Even though this says it's half a kilo, sometimes it'll skimp on you and be like... Oh, no, no, you didn't really have a half kilo. No, you, you didn't. The recipes in game, can they be tried in real life? Um, I suppose you could. I mean, I, I, I probably wouldn't want to, but I suppose if you really wanted to, you could probably try it in real life if you really, really, truly wanted it to. Oh, you want a bubbling tea circle? Oh, we can do that. Imagine eating a prepper's pie. Oh, we can do we can do the tea circle. Gotta pray for good weather tomorrow. You know, we gotta gotta offer something up to the tea gods so we can get some good weather. Make sure none of these are burning. Okay. 
It's kind of more of a T ellipse at this point. Oh no, do we have a piece of uneven ground here? That would suck. There's not much else we can do in the cave while we're here, so we might, you know, we might we might as well entertain ourselves. We got most of them out. Uh, make sure they're all hot and none of them are burning. Yes, all the well the handles have to point to each other. You can't you can't you can't, you can't have the handles point in different directions. Come on. That that would be that would just be wrong in so many ways. A screenshot, we got a screenshot it now. There, I got this. I got the screenshot. There we go. I got a couple. I got a couple screenshots of it. Campfire, hoo ha ha. T circle, hoo ha ha. Actually, you know what? We need to drop. We need to drop this hide. We need to drop that hide. We gotta drop these guts. Gotta drop this other hide. And we gotta drop the five birch that we got. T circle, hoo ha ha! It is kind of T art. We're an artist. We're a T artist. We specialize in the fine art of T circles. We brew them, we stew them, and then we put them out for, for display. Three pieces of coal in there. That wasn't too bad. Oh, yeah. Rise, my tees. Rise. Doing a tea circle around Secret Tree, Jordo. That would indeed be epic. Oh, it actually cleared up. Oh wow, so the, the, the Polaroid is right over here. Let's just let's just go get the Polaroid done. Actually, you know what? Let's uh This way we got a little warm-up bonus on us while we're doing this. Da, da, Vinci, da, da Vinci bot got nothing on us. Da Vinci, Da Vinci's got nothing on us, man. Da Vinci's a chump. Oh Jesus Christ! They gotta turn that down just a little bit. <laughs> Scared the holy but Jesus out of me. Right, so it's over here in the boss's settlement. I don't know exactly where it is. I would assume it's out here. Yes, we do. Oh my goodness, if we go fishing later, 
We'll get to do some puppetry. Of the fish. Ayo. You really get to look around here a lot. Not even sure where the actual spot to map is. Not even sure where it exactly is. You get its cooking skill ups here. Um Well, I I haven't got I mean I'm at cooking five, so I'm not getting any cooking skill ups at this point. Oh, there it is. See, let's see what this crappy map gives us. Actually, that wasn't too bad. That cleared out quite a bit of that. I mean, it's just, it cleared out that right there. I mean, there's all this area over here, down here. That, I mean, it cleared out a little spot, but nothing that great. Nothing that great. It was okay. Hoping there'd be something in here, but there's not. Boo. Boo, you suck, game. Not giving me loots everywhere. Be right, I gotta cook tea. Well, go get some tea done. Go get some tea, Dave. So, today, by the way, for today's schedule, we got Long Dark here for about another hour and a half. Then we're gonna be doing some, um... Uh, we're gonna be doing some, uh... Uh, Stellaris this afternoon. We're gonna be, we're in the last final stages. We're gonna have a lot of war and a lot of cry. We're gonna have a crisis come pretty soon, too, which should be pretty damn interesting. So, we're gonna be doing that. And then tomorrow we got Long Dark and Nightingale again. Now, next to, not tomorrow, Tuesday, but the Tuesday following that, we're going to be actually playing some Planet Crafter because Planet Crafter is finally gonna be fully released. I'm very excited to play fully released Planet Crafter. That should be a lot of fun. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Yeah, but we'll be okay. Yeah, we we basically we came in, we came up this direction, we came around to here. Um, and we're staying in this cave. We'll probably go back down this way. There's a there's a. Uh, this at this little fork here, there's some buildings there that we'll go to. And we'll probably loot that up because there's a lot of stuff there. Ah, the tea. The teas! It's such a tease. I didn't want to put them all in there. There's a big, there's a big one. There we go. Those are all tiny. Yes, yeah, so we will faint pretty soon if we don't rest. So, did we start a new run? Uh, well, on um, we have our new run together going every other day. And. Um, Oh, for Planet Crafter? Oh, yeah, I'll be starting a brand new run on Planet Crafter. Yep. Yeah, I, I, th I thought you were talking about Long Dark, but yes, we'll be starting a bland, brand spanking new Planet, Cap Planet Crafter run. So, and there's a lot of there's a lot of features that I've never played with, so I'm very curious to uh, to uh, play around with them. That's gonna be pretty cool. Excuse me. Okay. But yeah, I'm su I'm super I'm super stoked for it. It's it should be a lot of fun. Let's see how our clothing's doing. I'm sure my boots. Yeah, my boots have taken a beating. I'm gonna pair that pair of socks up real quick. I can still get him to 100%, so.
Yeah, I've, I've heard the procedural wrecks are a real maze. So definitely, it sounds like you definitely, if you don't have breathable atmosphere yet, you definitely want to take along a bunch of, uh, a bunch of oxygen tanks for them. To get, to get you, you know, to get you through them. I got woke up by my insomnia. Uh, all my teas were all, all these teas were good. I I had made sure that they were they were all they were all goodly teas. Better find some water. I made sure that none of them would would burn. So took care of that situation. I'll drink down these rosehip ones first, because then I can put them all in the container. And then we'll drink down the mushroom. They were all jiggled. Yes, I jiggled my teas. Whoa! You know, you can get, you can get banned. You can get banned on some platforms for jiggling your teas. I'm just saying. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Alright, I do have a lot of torches on me. Well, I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna say that, Cindy. I'm glad you did, not me. <laughs> I'm glad you said it and I didn't. Grab a little charcoal there. Good, we got 14 now. I'm gonna sleep well tonight, man. Oh, man. Okay. Let's go, baby. Oh, we are a little bit overweight. That's fine. We're gonna eat a rabbit pie down. That's gonna give us three extra kilos of carry weight. And now we aren't overweight anymore. Yay. <laughs> We're talking about boobs. <laughs> Shh. We can't talk about that stuff on YouTube, so. <laughs> hey, there's another Mr. Rabbit over here. Really? Really? Okay. Well, we'll get we'll get down to the other place there. We'll we'll uh, we'll harvest them up. We had a seven-hour drive to Vancouver yesterday. Almost got sideswiped twice. Scary drivers in that city. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's scary drivers everywhere, and they they don't see they don't seem to look out for larger vehicles much. You'd think if you were on a in a in a small vehicle and there was a big vehicle near you, you would you would watch it, you know? Woo! GP attacks! Thank you for the six month. Oh, don't worry about it, Tegeta. Thank you so much for that six month resub. Pat's just resubscribed for six months. Well, hello, Wolfie. Hello, Wolfers. Oh, oh geez. There's another one. Where's the other one? Oh, Jesus Christ. There he is. There, there he is. There he is. There he is. 
Rusty, how you doing? Thanks for the bear apocalypse, by the way. Woo! Let's go! Wolves down, wolves down. Wow! Okie dokie. Damn wolves. How you doing today, Rusty? I hope you're having a good one. Hope life is treating you well. Okay, I don't see any more wolves below us. You know, I'm doing pretty good. I, I, I went out and drove a little bit this morning, which was nice. And then I went and worked out for a little bit too long. I actually got home just a few minutes later than I was hoping. I was kind of stressed to get everything going this morning. But you know what? Had a good workout. Feel good. Feel good. Looking a little better. <laughs> I'd say look good, but I, 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 know, I know where I stand. <laughs> Early driving, how is it compared to the later driving? You know, I actually kind of like it a little bit better, Rusty, because there's no traffic on the roads. And there's plenty of rides out there. I, I did like four or five... Uh, four or five... Uh, um, uh, airport rides and a bunch of people going to work and stuff. So, why do the wolves come straight at you? Because I find a place where there's nothing for them to bump off of. See, like if, if I was standing here and I try and I tried to get a wolf to charge me, he'd bump off the stump, he'd bump off that log, he'd bump off of that. So you got to find a nice straight area where there's nothing they can run into, and then you got to force them to charge you. You got to make them charge you. The if you make them charge you, the further away they start charging from you, the better chance you have of them leveling off and coming straight at you. Oh yeah, there's always airport airport rides going that entire time. But yeah, if you, if you if you get them to charge from a ways away, they'll usually get their pathing worked out before they get to you. Now it's not a hundred percent. It's not going to work every time. I'm just telling you that in my experience it usually makes it a little bit easier. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, also a few less drunk people. Yes, that is that is true as well. Hey, there's some carrots here. Wow, that's a lot of carrots. Yes, I do need to use the radio again. And one tater. All right, there's the cabin there. Oh, by the way, this place also has a nice six burner stove in it. Six burner, baby. Oh my goodness. Is that, is that, is that oatmeal I see over there? Is that, so, is that a thing of oatmeal I see? Oh, there's some raw rabbit in there, too. That is a container of oatmeal. Look at that. A container of oatmeal. There's some more carrots here. Another skillet here. I don't really need another skillet. That's a drawer. Yeah, it says drawer. It's actually a cupboard. That's not a drawer. That's a drawer. But yeah, we'll have to use the uh, we'll have to use the radio thingy again. Uh, you can only use it during an aurora or during a um, or during a uh, electrostatic fog, though. So you kind you kind of can't use it during a lot of stuff that you want to use it on. All right, let's drop down the hides and the guts here. And we'll just drop those as well. There we go. I can't break that down, can I? I was thinking, can I get rid of that table? I'm always looking to get rid of stuff. To use my hands because why not that's a cupboard the other was a drawer just big sideways opening one it's a new tech and furniture <laughs> yes it is it's it's the new it's the new thing everybody's doing it everybody's doing it these days 
Is it light enough to actually do a Maglins fire outdoors? Because that would be just fan freaking tastic if it was. It might, it might be good enough to do one. No, it's not. Yeah, it is a little. It is a little overcast, I guess. Yeah, it's a, it's an IKEA. Build your own drawer. Although it's not really a drawer, it's more of a. This is their mess hall, by the way. So it's kind it's kind of messy. There's a can here. I don't really need the can, but I'll take it anyway. Lots of fuel here if you wanted it. A lot of gear. Oh, shush a bye, Will. You're fine. There's a can opener here. It's a free piece of metal. That's about it. All right. Let's use the book. Use a match. And there we go. We'll cook up, cook up our meaty meats. Come on, come on. There we go. Hey, let's make a porridge. Why not? We got the we got the oats. There's nothing else we can do with them. Might as well make a porridge. I've got a whole bunch of carrots. I mean, I can just eat the I can just eat the. Excuse me, Wolfie. You don't need to be doing that. Might as well eat down some of the carrots. I'm not going to do anything else with them. Yum, yum. Some hot porridge for us. I've got lots of water on me. Nah, you know, I could probably use a little more water. We might we might as well we might as well do it. I could use a drink. See, look at that. We could use a drink. See, we even said the we said the thing. I wish the tinder from cardboard could be work as sort of an accelerator so it makes sense to break them all down. Yeah, I wish so. Is there a porridge with fruit? Uh, there's not a porridge with fruit. No, there's unfortunately porridge porridge just takes the rubber the running river oats. There's no other recipe that takes the river oats. Now maybe once they do some can recipes, maybe there'll be something that takes the river oats there, but as of right now there's not. Dang it, I missed him. He's still scared of me. He's still running away like a big old chicken. There's porridge with peaches. Uh, let's see here. There's porridge. There's the camber flights. Uh, oh yeah, the camber flight porridge takes uh, takes that. 
Makes peaches and maple syrup, which I'll never, never use. So I guess, yeah, it does have one more recipe there. Yep, camber flight porridge actually takes the rubber, running river oats. Which I will never, which I'll, which I don't have any peaches left anyway. So I'm like, eh. It's all good. Tater. Yum yum. Can I use that tree to climb? I don't know if I could or not. Now we got a bunch of water. Which is fine. I, I love having water scattered throughout the world. It makes it makes me feel good. that whole other side over there to investigate. All right, let's drop, let's drop, uh, let's drop the coal here. Drop the sticks here. Drop all of our pies here. There we go. metal wires hey we found some lantern fuel you're waiting to find a little lantern fuel can you imagine how canned peaches would taste if the whole world had been plunged into the icebox with no prospect of ever seeing peaches again they would be like the nectar of the gods Ari It'd be like that episode of Walking Dead where, uh, where, um, Michonne and, uh, Carl find that big old tub of, uh, tub of chocolate pudding. And it's like, oh my god, it's chocolate pudding! <laughs> Mining newsletter, okay. Insomnia is now healed, that's good. I suppose. Oh. Nothing in there. Check the other side here. Got a foot locker we gotta look in. But yeah, I think zone of contamination has a lot of food in it to make up for the lack of wildlife that you can eat. Another can opener. That's now two can openers we've got. A little water here. There's a toilet seat. I should be able to use that toilet seat as like a, a boomerang or something. I like how these toilets actually have toilet seats on them. I always thought it funny that, that a lot of the toilets just had no... They just have, like, an empty bowl. Sort of like this one here. Just It's a bowl. Like, who's gonna, who's gonna use that? Shower, shower, shower. Shower, shower, shower. We're showering because Venora's here. We gotta shower up so we don't, we don't embarrass ourselves. 
Lenora Darkwolf, how you doing? Hello, hello, darling. Go over and check out Venora Dark Wolf, boys and girls, here on the Twitch side. She applied for partner. Yes. Oh, I died. Well, good luck with that. I hope it works for you. That's how I always look when I die, too. It's like, oh. No, I lost them. No, it's not so funny. I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> Well, I, I hope you get it. That'd be, that would be awesome, awesome sauce. Be quite the feather in your cap. There's a body here somewhere. There's a feather here. Is there a body inside of this? That's so weird. You know, the long dark's doing pretty good. Oh, yeah, there's a body in there. As a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, Jack, and we got a toolkit, too. Nice. And a candy bar on the windowsill. But no, long dark's doing pretty good. We are currently in zone of contamination. Um, we got a miner's jacket as well. I think that gives us the full set now. Can I get your boots? I want those right there. I'll make them fit, damn it. I'll make those damn boots fit. I don't care if they're a size too small. I will bind my feet and put them inside of there. Give me those sexy mucklucks. Alright, there we go. Look at all the little foods in here. Jeez Louise, man. I don't need the can of spray paint. Thank you. Oh, there's another washroom here. And it, and the toilets actually have uh, seats on them. No, cor no cold porcelain for our bums. Now, that one's not. That, that one is cold porcelain. This one, too. But it has... We can put the seat on it, at least. At least we can get the seat on it. We are a little on the heavy side. Big shocker. I'm playing the long dark and I'm I'm over encumbered. I know. Who would have ever thought that would happen, right? Not this Jamoke. Hey, there's another piece of metal over here, too. I can't get it through there, though. I guess I have to go outside to get it. That sucks. All right. Well, I think... Yeah, I think I'm going to put some stuff in here. Let's put the uh, can in there. Those can openers are in there. Put the metal in there. Wires in there. Good lord. Good god, man. All right, let's rip that apart. Harvest those. I sort of want to keep the keep this, but it's two kilos. It's it's just too heavy. It's too heavy to just carry around with you. It's way too heavy. Actually, hold on a sec. Let's drink a little. We got a lot of water on us, so we can drop some of this water. That'll get us below weight. Really, that toaster's going to be in my way, huh? That is starting to slow me down. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. I'm going to leave something behind. Said, said most, most said line in my runs. Yeah, exactly. 
I'm gonna leave something behind here. Yeah, I got I gotta do it. I say that all the time because it's true. I, I have to figure out what I can leave behind. We have 90 93 cattails now. Nine, 93. Let's break down some torches real quick. We are pretty tired, so we might just move over to the other um I just grab all my stuff and move over to the other the other side over there where the beds are that I don't have to use my bedroll hey it's one solo hello hello what's my blue face covering that's my ninja hood that's that's what you get for finishing signal void is you get the ninja hood Now the wolves never see us coming. We can sneak up on the wolves and they never see us. Because we're swift and secret like a ninja. Oh, this gear is slowing me down. I know it is. Just chill out, Will. So yeah, that's in the that's in the final bunker that you go into in uh, Signal Void. The one that's back in Forsaken Airfield. So it's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Pretty neat. You feel, you feel all tough and cool when you get it done, you know. All right, let's go ahead and drop our meaty boys. I knew that was going to hit me in the face. That's why... Well, I kind of artfully dodged it. I was like, nope. Not today. Not today, Satan. Not today. I was going to chomp some carrots because I don't really... I don't really care. I'm, I, 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 You could theoretically save these to do other stuff with, but I'm not. I can't believe the Aqua Pure tablets are actually... In that good a shape. That's pretty nice. A lot of the stuff I found is actually in pretty decent shape. I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna put that little bit of oil that I found in there. The reason I dropped this jerry can is technically this jerry can, even though it says it has zero in it, technically, if I fill the if I fill this all the way up, it'll get rid of the jerry can. And I want to keep that jerry can so I can put oil in it. It's all part of my evil plan. Okay, I don't need that. I can drop that for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and drop most of the sticks here. That'll get us a little bit less. Okay. Yeah, let's get ourselves tired, tuckered out a little bit. I'm going to be a little more tired so we can sleep all the way through the night. And then we can head back to the concentrator. Where we concentrate on things. Yeah, I don't like that door being open. That kind of freaks me out a little bit. And yeah, we're going to just close that. That got us pretty well, pretty well done. So we should, should have enough water to get us to morning. But yes, Juan Solo, the uh, the quest, the quests are continuing because now we're doing, now we're doing buried echoes. We've got the first step of it done. Got the first step of buried echoes done. Now we just got to keep going. Yum, yum, carrots. Let's eat them. Eh, what's up, Doc? All right, let's go grab a little water.
a little bit chilly out here today. That piece of scrap metal was just sitting there and it was bothering me that it was sitting around. Even though I'm not even going to take that scrap metal with me, it was bothering me that it was just sitting there. <laughs> Looks like I survived another night. It does look like you survived another night, Will. Good job. Good job, buddy. I forgot to drop my birch. Gosh dang it, I forgot to drop the birch and the hides in the guts. God darn it. This pack is getting too heavy to... Wish they would add the super bow to interloper though. Yeah, although without a way to fix the bow, it just makes me sad. It makes me sad because there's like no way to fix the bow. I wish there was. If there was a way to fix the bow, that would be awesome. But without a way to fix the bow, it's kind of like, eh, I'd use it, but then it'd just break eventually, and then I'd be sad. Then I would, then, then I would be, aww, I broke my bow. A cold rabbit pie. Yum yum. Back to camp we go. Back to the concentrator. Time to concentrate. Oh, here comes that wolf, too. That wolf smells us, baby. He knows we're over here. Man, I missed him. Come back here. I need to shoot you. Oh, now, now you decide to come and, and play. Now you decide to come and play. Well, geez Louise. I'll go out here. Thanks for your patience when I'm sometimes lost in translation. Oh, don't worry about it. Take it. You probably understand English way more than I understand your language. So if I was trying, if I was trying to understand your language, I would be totally, totally lost. So no, don't worry about it at all. And don't ever feel like you can't ask or say, Hey, I don't understand what's going on or whatever. Cause nobody's going to look at you twice for doing it. Cause I can barely speak English, let alone, you know, it, any sort of good English, so. Hello, let's go up here. Let's see if anything's inside here. Doesn't look like it. I wonder if this will show up on a map. It does not show up on a map, okay. Fine, be that way, game. Oh, you never have to feel silly. Don't ever feel like that, Tegeta. Don't ever feel like that. Can't feel my feet. Hey, there's a rose hip here. Look at that. Let's grab that rose hip, baby. Yep, that's the thing. Not to chat is it, it is not a solution. So you ask, we'll answer. That's that's all I gotta say. <laughs> You ask and we shall answer your questions. Die if I don't warm up soon. You ain't gonna die. You'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay. Our next arrow we fire is gonna break, which is kind of nice. 
It's kind of nice and it's kind of not nice at the same time. It's kind of a mixed bag. All right, we're all warmed up now. We're ready to go. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. I do like the music in the new zone. It's very atmospheric. We Americans love to go to have to go to English class in, in school to learn our own language. That's the funnest part of the day. picked up one stick literally one stick swear to god one stick <laughs> it's like oh my god it's one stick it's the stick that broke the camel's back We need to map right up in here. So they got the total solar eclipse going on. Oh yeah, wow, that looks pretty cool. Dang. Yeah, they got the solar eclipse on YouTube if you want to see it. It's Na it's NASA's feed. And it's all it's almost it's almost full. And I missed. And I missed. Little bastard. He probably damaged my clothing a bunch. Yep, he hit, he had all my clothing. That was a clo that was totally a clothing wolf. You son of a bee sting. Yeah, the eclipse is almost it's almost full right now. Really? Wow, really truly? They both came in at bad angles, and this is a health wolf. God dang it. They both, see, they both did the little zigzag on me. Oh my god, seriously? Seriously. I'm moving off of that area. That area is a bad area. They come in at weird angles there. The second one did the exact same thing the first one did. There we go. Finally. Jeez Louise. I'm freezing. Good lord. And now I have no bandages. Good god, that was like three of them in a row. There's one right after the other.
And there's another one coming right now. There's another, there's another freaking wolf coming right now. He's like, hey, can I join the party? Wow. Jeez Louise, man. Yeah, now, now my boots are down to 52%. My gloves and everything are down. My hat is down. My bearskin coat is down. Wow. All right, the eclipse is almost full, boys and girls. Showing the feed for Mazatlan. Oh, that wolf was already damaged. And that wolf was already damaged too. Okay, so th those were not new wolves. Those were wolves I had already damaged. Okay. I don't feel as bad now. I was like, I was like, really? More wolves? Seriously? Here comes the storm, baby. Here comes the storm. I can tell. The, we the weather is turning on me. And the eclipse is almost done in Mazatlan. There's like one little sliver. Oh, and it's gone. And it's gone. It's completely covered. The sun is completely covered in Mazatlan now. That is wild. It's a total eclipse of the heart. It's cloudy where you are. It's just gonna get, it's gonna get dark and then light again. Yeah, we don't even have it here in Oregon. In Oregon, we don't even get to see it. It's just like, it's just like I, I think there's like a little sliver that'll get covered, and that's about it. But yeah, we, we, don't even get, we don't even get the joy of it. Not in Oregon, at least. Is, is, is Twitch better than YouTube for subbing? I think I have Twitch Prime sub I can use. Hey, if you got the Twitch Prime, it doesn't cost you anything, man. If you got the Twitch Prime, throw it at me because it doesn't cost you a dime to do that. It's totally free for you to sub up with Twitch Prime because you already got because you already have Amazon Prime. So if you got that, Dave, throw throw the Twitch Prime at me, and that's much appreciated, my friend. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't have a function, Dave, where you can use a, you know, prime sub or anything like that. <laughs> There's no such beast for the YouTube side. On the, the YouTube only takes cold, hard cash. All right. Uh, no, I didn't make it down to Corvallis for the totality.
Excuse me. Woo! Oh, there'll probably be another one. My, my sneezes usually come in pairs. I love the new music kills my confidence, though. Oh, yeah, when the new music sets in, Peace Dog. Oh, yeah. Made it down. Admit you made it. It was cool, but the, the five hour back five hour drive back to PDX was not. Oh yeah, because there's probably so I was like five hours. It's only like an hour and a half down I five to get to Corvallis, and then I was like, oh, because of the because everybody was going down there, so everybody was coming back at the same time, huh? All right, we got a couple rabbit hides and a deer hide there. Okay, I'm gonna drop some sticks here. Grab a couple, grab a cedar. All right, what do we want to leave here? I can leave a little more cloth. Oh, wow, that's full. That is like completely full. Okay. Let's leave. Let's grab the cloth out of here. Let's leave that in there. Grab two of those out. Grab two of those out. Let's stockpile our torches here. Actually, I could just drop those torches on the ground. Yeah, I should I should have made a I should have made a backup bow. Like I said, we may we may need to we may need to go back to Forsaken Airfield and make ourselves a second bow, because I totally Space that off. I did not make a second bow for myself. This one should be good for a while, but I'm very, I'm very much regretting not having a bow, a secondary bow made. All right, let's drop the toolkit here. whole bunch of cloth on me. We'll let, dump that in the drawer. There we go. Did I do both of the arrows? Oh, I guess I must have had it more feathers than I thought. Let's prepare up our rose hips. Prepare up our mushrooms. Actually, I'll just prepare one thing of mushrooms, and then I'm gonna leave some mushrooms here. If I can find, if I can find another burdock root in my adventures, we could, we could make a, another prepper's pie. And then I think I'm going to leave a few of my cattails here, too. Take like 25 with us. Just so we have some. And I think I will drop the water pills here. Just because. God, my boots are 52% right now. That is so painful. I can only get them up 30... I can only raise them up a little bit over that, too. I'm almost thinking... You know, I'm almost thinking I'm going to take those off. I'm going to leave my boots here. And let's see. Those I can repair, I'm pretty sure, all the way back up. Yeah. 
The pants. Pretty close, yeah. Let's repair the hat back up. Oh, I need that. I need the leather. You know, I have the... I have those, uh... I have those boots over here that I left in the truck. I left some boots that I can go ahead and utilize. I need snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill. Oh, shush a bye. Have some water. There we go. trying to remember where did I leave those boots <laughs> I stashed the boots because I'm like I don't need the oh I, I know where I put them in the truck inside of here put them in the truck inside there hmm okay I'll wear those as my as my stuff. Hey, Rublet, how you doing? Well, you know, hunting the deer is easier than easier said than done. There we go. Let's grab those. There we go. Those don't do a lot for us warmth-wise, but they're nice as far as the as far as the protection they grant us. Yep, that's that's what I thought. It's better to use them save on the save on the wear and tear on my boots for a little bit. Hey, some more lantern fuel, nice. Whatever kill you make, we have to finish a drink. That that would be uh that would be crazy. That would be pretty nutty. There would be a lot of drinks happening. Hey Megan, how you doing? I'm so glad you're alive. Just finished my run now. I plan on sitting on the couch. And not moving for a while. Well, that's good. Hey, there's a body here. He ain't got no body. Uh, so Rick, this is the uh, this is the special lantern. This is the this is the special lantern that you can find. Um, it it burns fuel. It has less of a it has less of a radius that it illuminates, but it burns fuel more efficiently than the other lantern does. So it, it, it doesn't illuminate as good as the as the regular gray lantern does, but the fuel is used way slower. Oh my god, we actually found a whetstone. That's the first whetstone we've had in like 200 days. <laughs> we've been using milling machines to get our stuff all fixed up here for a while. Nothing up there we can do. Yeah, it's it's not too bad. I mean, this is pretty it's this is pretty light in here right now anyway. The only reason I need it is that, you know, the dark corners in this do not you know, you could miss stuff easily in the dark corners in here. But now that we've, you know, we've kind of looted all that, we can move back this way without the lantern.
Well, a lot of times, Dave, it's just a pixel hunt. I'm hunting for pixels. Alright, let's get the lantern. You know what? Let's use up a flare. Hey, look! There's another flare. <laughs> we'll use a flare and get another flare. It's got some real flare to it. It's got some Rick flare. The way they hide stuff on us these days, you can miss stuff in lighted corners. Oh, yeah. Don't I know it? You could miss stuff in the lighted corners so easily these days. I'll just put that in my backpack. I hate to hate to litter. Now there's there's a stairway up there. Lots of planks in the oh. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We got two. We got two liters of fluid now. <laughs> I'm still gonna drop that one. That's that's what we were waiting for, baby. That's what we were waiting for. Now we can just go. Oh yeah, we're just gonna use our. We're just gonna use our. Uh, Use the storm lanterns since we have two liters of fluid plus almost three. Ah, so much nicer. Ooh, that bucket that bucket actually has its handle straight up, which is kind of interesting. A lot of buckets will be kind of laying down. Oh, finding that fluid was such a great thing. I was so... I, I, I was kicking myself because I left all my fluid behind and I didn't fill my lantern up before we came here. I was like, oh, man, that's going to suck so bad. But we got super lucky and found some more fluid, so yay. Yay us. Hey, hey, are you a soda? Would you like to go to the summit? I bet you would. Refreshing. The, the Tales from the Far Territory has some nice buildings. One day I'll play the add-on Not Only Long Dark. Yeah, I mean, Tales has some great buildings in it. It really, truly does. I, I, I have been super, 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 super happy with Tales from the Far Territory. Is soda always safe? Soda is always safe. I have never, ever, ever got one sick off of a soda. Boop. This is the secret way. This is the see. This is the keep it secret, keep it safe way. This allows you to get into the office over here. Yeah, sardines are exactly the opposite. Sardines, you can get you can get sick on sardines that are 70% very easily. A ruined Mackinac jacket. Wow. 
Can I push that button? I want to push. I want to push the button. I wanted to push the button. Damn it. Ooh, that's painful. That makes me. That makes my heart ache right there. That makes me hurt. That makes me hurt just a little bit. Oh, you know what we need to do? I don't have any. I have no bandages right now. We need to at least make two bandages. We need. I'll, I'll make four just in case. And we're almost tuckered out completely, so we'll just sleep here for the night. Getting weaker. I know. I know you're getting weaker, buddy. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's, it's gonna. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna be okie dokie. All right. Let's go ahead and choke down these pork and beans. What is also safe? What 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 do you mean also safe? Sardines are never safe. <laughs> sardines are never safe. Don't eat sardines. Pork and beans? Oh well, I have cooking five, so I can eat any of this stuff and it won't get me sick. Once you have cooking five, nothing is off limits except for raw meat. Raw meat and raw fish can still give you uh food poisoning and make you sick. But everything else in the game is completely safe at that point. Anything that's man-made or cooked you can always you can always eat once you get cooking five and you'll not get intestinal parasites after you get cooking five either so that's another that's another great thing too okay oh my goodness okay Yeah, we got to go outside. We got to go outside because I think the next step was to... Yeah, we got to go get that crash site. I know where the crash site is. Fog storm is kind of a blessing in disguise. I got ham, baby. I got the ham. Woo, let's go ham. Ham bone, ham bone. scarf here piece of leather there a book oh jesus Christ! <laughs> marcello with a one year race up you marcello for that one year resub there are there any scary wires in here i don't think so i've only been in here like three times though so i can't i can't speak 100 percent confidently about it i've only been in here a few times but i don't i don't think there are Well, the good news is we have the whole rest of the day that this thing's going to happen, so let's get our, uh... Oh, that's to the mines. Oh. I don't want to go to the mines. No, we aren't, go we aren't going to the mines yet. The mines of Moria are not being breached as of yet. No, we, we, we are not doing that quite yet. <laughs> We're not at that stage. Yeah, I think this is the way that I wanted to go because this, this, this gets me the other direction.
Now this is another exit or another entrance into the mine. We don't we haven't accessed that yet, so. Oh, we can't get out this way. Interesting. Okay. Oh no, we can. There's there's the door. I was like, where's the door out? Do you think the game is still well balanced? I think it is, yeah. I think it, I think they've done a pretty good job keeping the game pretty well balanced. I mean, you know, it, it is it is it, ha it does have more items in it now than it ever has before, you know. And so I guess that could you could say that off balances it a little bit or makes it easier, you know, or something like that, but I I still find it to be very I think they've done a good job with the mixture of new items yet still keeping it pretty scary and pretty hard to survive in uh, the thing that's always been the big killer in this game though is not even so much the animals it's it's the it's the it's the cold the, the cold is always your biggest enemy in this game and, and and it's always there it's all it's that it's that it's that thing that slowly but surely just eats your health without it, and it never it never lets up And that, and that's that's I think that's the hardest part, is 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 learning to do that. True challenge is weight distribution. That is true, me for Florida. That can be the true challenge. But yeah, I mean the cold is still your biggest enemy, and that's what kills most people, either directly or indirectly, is the cold. Let's go over to our base here, and then we'll whip it out. We'll go to the, uh, we'll whip it out and go to the other place. You think they could do the opposite kind? Honestly, Dave, I think that their next venture they're going to do will probably be something opposite Long Dark. It won't be a cold environment. It may be a, a warm environment, a jungle environment. It may have seasons. I, th I think I think a, I think a Long Dark a Long Dark style game with seasons would be really cool for them to do. So crazy. Right? I know. I gotta. I gotta make some water here because I don't. I don't. I have hardly any water at all. Drop both of those here. So yeah, if they did, if they did a long dark style game, but with four seasons where you actually had to like, you actually had to prepare through the seasons to get it to work. That would be so badass. That would be so freaking cool. Uh, we do actually need to build a fire here and get some water going. So let's do that real quick. Unfortunately, we have to go outside to do it. Luckily, we can just do it right here. I'm just going to use that accelerant because I don't care. That should help warm things up. That should help warm things up. Throw a piece of coal on it. Now, because we have those little uh, pills, we don't need to purify the water. We just need to get it to the point where it's melted. We don't need to boil it. We can just go ahead and take our pills and shaky shaky. And that'll give us four liters of water, which is super duper nice. I do need to get a little more old man beard lichen and go ahead and... Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. And I need to make up some uh, some old man beard wound bandage. So, shake, 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 shake. Uh, 
All right, and now we're cold, or now we're now we're thirsty. So let's get a drink in us. There we go. You know, probably since we have the since we have the fire here anyway. We might as well we might as well do a little more water, because why not? We're going to the chopper. We're gonna get to the chopper. That's what they told me to do. To get to the chopper. All right. So I got that weight on me now. I got. I'm gonna actually drop most of the reclaimed wood here. I'm gonna drop a little bit of the coal. Grab a cedar. There we go. I'll eat a can of ham. Why not? Why not? Okay, let's grab five more cattails. Got my torches here still. Got a little bit of fuel on me. I'm just gonna drop that. No, actually, you know what? Let's let's take that with us. Actually, I'm gonna drop that real quick. Fill up my lantern. Then I'm gonna drop the big one and the lantern here because I don't need either of those on me. I need those when I go into the. I need those when I go back in to the mines, but I'm not going to do the mines right now. There we go. And then I can dump the cans off in here. I can dump a couple of those in there, too. Um, I'm going to leave that there and that there. Wow, I actually have a whetstone. I can actually whetstone my tools again. Yay! I can whetstone my damn tools again. That's gonna be so nice. And then we'll leave some water here, too. When's the next DLC coming? No idea. Um, they, they will, they will uh, be finishing up... They'll be finishing up this one here this year. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they have plans for doing another DLC. I would assume. I mean, this one's gone over pretty well, so I would assume they probably do. I have a feeling when they do another DLC, though, they're going to be a lot more. They're going to be a lot more restrained on on promising, over promising, um, on 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 the content delivery. Because um, I think they, I think they were a little, they were, they were, they were a little ambitious on their on their plans to get as much of it out as they could. All right, let's get out the... Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, baby, let's go. I know where we're going, so we're gonna... We're just gonna keep our, keep our bow and arrow out just in case we run into another pesky wolf. Those pesky... Those pesky freaking ravenous starving wolves that have beat my clothing to heck and back yeah gotta repair all my stuff again but yeah i would imagine i'm a met i'm imagining that the the dlc is going to get an update the current dlc is going to get an update probably this summer probably mid to late summer would be my guess it might be earlier than that but i don't think so and it might be later than that as well. But they also are this year, they're going to be putting out Chapter 5. So they got several things they're working on right now. Triple Wood, how you doing, buddy? They've got several things they're working on right now. They got Chapter 5 that they're working on, and they got the... And they've got the, uh, the DLC that they're working on, too. All right, take care, Dave. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. Good to see you, my friend.
Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, he's that way. It, you damn wolf. Jeez Louise, they just keep smacking my clothing each time. Good lord. I mean, it's not like I'm carrying raw meat on me, or I'm not, it's not like I'm carrying meat, meat stuff on me or anything. Actually, what I should do, if I can, break a little hole in the ice here. Oh no! Oh, really? Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucked. Boo. Boo game. A boo. Well, I guess we can map at least. <laughs> that guy died pretty close. I mean, I guess since I got this this open here, I will leave my fish tip up in there for the moment. Get my arrow back at least. Whoa, that was weird. Um uh oh. Oh no. Oh god, I'm stuck. Um I have no controls. I have my bow control and I have nothing else. That sucks. Well, um, I guess, yeah, it saved it the struggle, so I guess, I guess we, uh, I guess this time we'll go we'll we'll uh, we'll go straight up here. Yeah, that was so weird. Oh, there's no fire barrel here. Since we know the fog is going to end soon, I guess we get a second chance. Really? Good lord. Again, 
Oh my god. Oh my good lord. Good freaking god. Yeah, I got blood loss now, too. And I've got another, uh, another bite, and I don't have a paint, I don't have any, uh, uh, stuff for it. Reaches you, it means they made it out and to the mainland. Oh boy! What a mess, old friend. What a mess! Yeah, what a mess, old friend, indeed. Chopper flight worthy. Get to the chopper. My old call sign with you from the Alaska days. I hope that and this note from my logbook convinces you. Do you recognize the book? Do you remember it? It's gone bad over here, and strange beyond anything. But it's on me now, and there are others still missing down below. Take care, and keep an eye on the horizon. All right, I'm freezing my bum off here. For yeah, I'm, I'm freezing my, I'm freezing out here. Okay, 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 okay Astrid, stop talking. I have an infection risk right now, too, which is horrible. Nah, he didn't ruin my boots. Didn't ruin any of my clothing, just knocked it down a little bit. My goal now locate a respirator yeah I need to locate a respirator search the concentrator and head frame facility for clues or tools to help uh, Rodiker's experiment okay I got all that stuff right Goodness. Yeah, it's almost like the wolves want to kill me or something. I know. been really bad with with my uh um i'm just really bad with my uh aiming today we have aimed very poorly birch bark we're doing stuff and things things and stuff 
Yeah, I went to I went to pick up an arrow and I got stuck in the wolf. It was very weird. The wolf told me to get good. And I was like, I am trying to get good. Like the wolf was like, yeah, not really. Kind of sucked, bro. I was like, really, dude? Goodness gracious. Great googly mooglies, boys and girls. Great googly and mooglers. All right, let's drop that there. Something's making me feel really tired. I'm sure it is. Let's finish off our water and get some sleep. How you doing? Holy moly macaroni. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, it's an Aurora. Okay, one thing we can do to get back some... Well, you know what? I'm actually doing good on the health. And I have a whole canister. Shh. I have a whole canister of birch bark tea here. So I'm going to drink two of my birch bark teas. Uh, the save point was after I deployed the tip up. It was, or before I deployed it. It was after I got attacked by the first wolf and got damaged by him. Oh, shoot. I almost have a full-blown full, full blown infection. Oh, snappity-doodle day. That was close. That was close. Oh my god, that was close. Holy shnikes. Uh, well, <laughs> the last few days have been a little rough, but we are on day 541. We live 539 days now. Yeah, that, that, those guys just wrecked my freaking gloves. I think I'm actually going to switch to these gloves here. Stuff to carry. I can actually repair these. I was putting my deer skin pants up here too. Yeah, I'm, I'm slowly but surely having to convert over to non, <laughs> non uh, animal clothing because my my clothing sucks so bad. I'm getting hit by the wolves so often. I had to dump my boots. My boots are now at what 52 percent. I've got one deer hide curing here. I got a lot of deer hides curing. I have a lot of deer hides in other zones, but yeah, we kind of we've kind of got a uh, kind of got ganked in this zone pretty hard. They've smacked us around a little bit in this zone, so you know, we, we we've taken it, we've taken the punches, we've rolled with them as much as we can. Hey, Long Darkeen, how you doing? All right, that should. All right, that dawns a new day for us. Beautiful. We've got all our health back. We were, we didn't have to use our prepper's pie. I didn't food from the wolf. Uh, the poison wolves in this zone, Rick, have no meat on them at all. There, there's no meat on the poison wolves at all in this zone. So it doesn't even doesn't even do anything for you. 
That's why the wolves in this zone suck so bad. Been a while since you've been on the stream. It has, it has. You're, you're actually catching us right at the like tail end of our long dark uh, time today too. Oh, I've never, I've never seen the driving gloves on the hands before. Oh, that's pretty wild. I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay. I have two, I have two of those left, so I need to, I need to make a couple more bandages. We'll do that real quick. Good Lord. Lord have mercy. I probably don't need all this fuel. I don't need to take all this fuel with me. Okay, insomnia is cured. Yay. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take that one cedar with me. I've got canisters. I just need to find a gas mask, and I think that's inside the. I think that's inside where we're going. So I think we'll be okay. I'm not gonna need. I'm not gonna need my travoy or my tip up, really. Wow, I got a lot of blue flares, don't I? I don't really even need the torches anymore. I th I was thinking I was gonna have to torch through the through the caves, but I have a lantern and a 1.7 liters of fluid. I'm actually going to leave that here so I don't have to keep dropping it every time. Okay, anything else I don't want to take with me? You know, I don't need all those flares. I probably will need the pry bar in there. I'll need, I need to fix that up too. But we can do that later. Rabbit hides are almost done gonna take at least two rabbit hides to fix all those all the way up jeez louise i have just gotten wrecked by the wolves i've had a lot of wolves that wrecked me and then i got wrecked by the game because the game was like no i take my pies how big is the jerry's cans jerry's cans are they're, they're four liters or double d's whatever you want to go with hey now <laughs> All right, in we go, boys and girls. In we go. Might as well get our lantern out. We don't need a bow in here. Gotta go to the top, to the top. Oh, I need to go around the other way. I already looted all this. Yep, those are all empty. Got all him, yep. Got him and all those lockers there. Did all that already. Yep, I did that already too. Yep, we already went down there. Now we just have to go up to the top here. I'm just saving fuel because I've already I I already have done all this. I've looted all this area. I just, I just uh, didn't go up to the very, very tippity top. Oh yeah, the the wolves trash their gear so quickly. It is crazy nuts how they trash their gear so easy. I 
Because my gear got trashed hard. They came at me hard and fast. The good news is there's lots of wood and cloth in this place. You could break down all these boxes, get all the cloth off the top of those. There's some coal for us. Very nice. You can take a quick way down that way if you want to. When you're getting out of here. Oh, is that the way out? Oh, that's the way out. I don't want to go out there yet. Nope. Got to go up one more. I was thinking for some reason this was the way out, but this is this is the where we this is where we need to go. I think I think we'll find the respirator up here. I'm not 100% sure because I've only done this like once before. It's a book. Matches! Yeah, I can definitely use that. I can definitely use matches. Getting dark here now, almost like sunset. Yeah, the Tales from the Far Territory maps, Rick, are very huge. They are very good size. And they went particularly nuts on this map. There is a humongous underground area underneath uh, underneath uh, this zone. So another pry bar. There we go. What have we here? Got the respirator now and some more fuel and some more fluid. There we go. We've we've got our respirator, boys and girls. After the restart, is it possible for the loot to be different? Oh, after, after the game crashed, or after I had to restart it? No, it's unfortunately not. The, the, the loot all stays the same. I basically, I didn't restart. All I did was just basically go back to my old save point. So, unfortunately, um, it, it's not like the game crashed. It just, it just glitched to the point where I could do nothing, and I just had to, I just had to exit out without saving. And then I, I was able to get it back into the game again, so. It wasn't a true crash. Let's just put it that way. This oh, some combat boosts that are actually at 7%. Some coffee. A bandage. So yeah, no no such luck with like loot resetting. 54. Three. And 18. It's a free mini game, exactly. anything Could end up being money I just left the money there I'm like no I don't want your damn money I don't want your money oh the the respirator I I wasn't up here I I was not I was not up here so I don't know where the respirator might have been I, I, ne I never came up here uh, originally because the fog storm hit and I wanted to get the I wanted to get the key and the next note for the uh, for this here so I did I didn't even come up here before okay we did all this right yep we did all that oh my god there's a cup of coffee up there <laughs> I guess looking up is something I'm not used to doing. 
The game's like, hey, dum dum, look up. Look up. Look up, silly. There's a nice little nice little treat for us. We haven't seen one of those for a little while. Some more oats. A can of corn. It, yeah, it may have been another run, Triple Wood. I mean, I've been here before. I just haven't been here on this run yet. And I'm not sure if it spawns in the same spot each time or not. I really don't know. I've not, I've not done enough of the... I've not done enough of this uh, in this zone. I've only done I've only done this quest like twice now. This is my second time doing it. So I wonder, I wonder what puts on the mask. Because I got it now. I know there's a fast way to do it. Um, options, key bindings. Mask on, mask off. Um, hmm. I'm sure I'm sure there's a way to do it. Any news if they've restocked the merch store? Not yet, no. No restock of the merch store as of yet. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Don't I have the mind gate key? Wait a second. Oh, I have to go to the office, don't I? Yeah, I have to go to the office. That was the office key that I got. Summon a witch! Yeah, I gotta go to the office. A boo. A boo who? A big booey who? Actually, you know what? Let's map. Let's map over here while we got a second. Yeah, I think I think uh, King that the that the merch store it really caught him off guard when their merch all sold out so quickly. I think that really caught him off guard. I don't think they expected that at all because they were putting out coupons. They had coupons they were sending people, and some of us we didn't even receive the coupons before the store was completely sold out. I don't see the mask and the wheel option. That's the thing. May oh you know what I bet I have to do no I don't have to I don't have it there. Oh you know what oh you know what I bet it is. Hold on a second I think I know what it is. Hold up wait a minute. There we go. There now now it's in its spot. There. Now, now the mask is always there. Thank you, Triple Wood. Yep, I, what, the second you said that, I was like, oh, yeah. Ah. I was like, oh, yeah, you have to do that, don't you?
Yep. I like remembered it the moment you put that up there. I was like, oh. Because I was like, I thought I remembered before that it could be on the wheel. But it goes in this lower slot, and unfortunately, if you have it all filled with T's, it doesn't override it, so. All right, well, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but, um, uh, not tomorrow, but Thursday, because tomorrow we're going to do our endless night, end, endless, endless night gun loper run, but on Thursday, we'll be returning on this guy, and we are going to go into the mine. We're going into the mine on Thursday, so that should be, that should be loads of fun. But uh, for now, we're going to wrap up Long Dark, and we're going to be switching over and playing some uh, Stellaris. So for those of you on YouTube, if you come back for Stellaris, I will see you then. If you don't come back for Stellaris, that's totally fine, you know? I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow for some Long Dark, um, the Endless Night Gunloper run. But we're going to be switching over to Stellaris right now, and uh, I'm going to restart the stream on YouTube here in a second. So bye, YouTubers. Bye. Thanks for coming by and hanging out.